Welcome back, everyone. My name is Ultimar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous, where we left off last time. We were almost at Conundrum Unsolved. We also have the Houndheart campsite quest that we are going to do. Uh, we do have Sila with us, so we can do that as well. Those are the two things we plan on doing in this video. Our army in this particular one is a little bit further along uh, than our first army, or, or sorry, our army in the evil campaign. But it is also a little bit weaker because we didn't get those reinforcements yet that our other group has. So we are going to get those at some point because this group has way more money and can easily afford them. So we've already done this Let's and I know there's no enemies around this zone, which is nice. I'm just going to quickly check for loot. I don't remember there being any, but it never hurts to just glance around and make sure. Our party is suffering from medium encumbrance, which is perfectly okay. And I do vaguely remember... How to do the puzzle we're going to be finding Let's very move. shortly. Which is always nice because, you know, puzzles are hard. Sometimes after a long day at work, you don't want to do a puzzle. I do, because I love puzzles. They are among my favorite things to do, uh, but some people don't. You know, just the way it is. Let us jump into the cave. There's a couple Follow skeletons me. with some loot in them. And then we're going to go into the actual crypt e thing itself. So, uh, let's go grab some loot. We have the slabs with white symbols, some random junk, slabs with two white symbols, and then another slab with two white symbols. I vaguely, well, I should, I should probably remember how to do this a little more than I do currently, but it's fine. We'll be able to figure it out relatively easily. I'm pretty sure I remember how to do it. Okay, so. This is where we're at. You put these three in automatically because there's only one slot where apparently they fit. Now our goal here is to make the other four slabs fit this in such a way that it'll allow us to open the door. Uh, so we are going to do that one. Just like that. Perfect. And then this one is going to be this one. And this one is going to be this one. The only one that can fit it. And then this one is going to be this one. It was easy, wasn't it? Simple puzzle, simple solution, but it was just the beginning. Its purpose was to awaken curiosity. The translucent figure appears out of thin air, clad in a loose-fitting robe. Its face is hidden behind a simple, unadorned mask. Oh, puzzles. I love them. Mortals are not meant to unveil the secrets of the universe and grasp the meaning of creation. But is this really so? Of course not. The secrets of the universe will only be revealed to the most worthy of mortals. Prove yourself and be the first for whom all the secrets of the world are revealed. Yes, yes, what do we need to do? The heart of mystery is located west of here. Solve the puzzle, and you will comprehend the forbidden knowledge. A map of an area that looks vaguely like the world wind appears in the figure's hands. A single dot shines brightly on the map. You can count on me, translucent masked figure. I'll solve any puzzles you have, so you better prepare some good ones. Who are you? The translucent figure remains silent. What is the heart of mystery? Simple puzzle, simple solution. The heart of mystery is located west of here. Hey, can you hear me? Comprehend the meaning of creation for the most worthy of mortals. The heart of mystery prove all the secrets of the world. I think you've broken it. The translucent figure vanishes into thin air. I'm going to bring these along. I don't know if we need them. But I want to bring them just in case. We don't have to stop backtrack here if we need them for something. Uh, let's go into the next little zone here and pick up ourselves some loot. It's nothing super exciting, honestly. Some potions, some elven notes for the storyteller some barding for a pet or a horse which is also a pet and so we're up let's go we are gonna head out into the great wide unknown we are gonna have a battle um at the Houndheart camp but first we're gonna go to our camp we're not that far away we could use the rest and we'll head back and do that one and there's darren with a goblet of what I can only assume is the finest wine. Rich ass counts with their wealthy money stuffs. Alright. Random encounter, someone on the road. It is our camp, of course. Commander, we caught a suspicious lad on the road. He says he's an ally and he's desperate to talk to you. Who knows who he really is? The young man before you was trembling from his wounds and exhaustion. His boots are in tatters, 
and if he had any weapons or armor, he shed them along the way. His clothes are torn, and his hair is wet. Like he recently swam across a river, blood oozes from the wounds on his chest and shoulders, and his skin is cracked and inflamed from the acrid water of the world wound. Commander, the man breathes heavily, and the words emerge as a whisper from his dry throat. My squad ambushed beyond the river. Help! Give our guest some water and something for his wounds. The young knight's wounds heal with the help of a magical potion. Taking a gulp of water, he catches his breath, snaps to attention, and begins again. Yakur Ankel, Hell Knight of the Order of Godclaw, under the commander of Paralic Regil, Derenge. Our squad is under attack by demons far surpassing our number. Without your assistance, we are lost. Hell Knights, they've supported the Crusades more than once in our battle against the demons. Despite their questionable reputation, we cannot abandon allies in our trouble. Irabeth cringes. If they really are our allies, then of course it's just... And Evia looks Yakur over closely from head to toe. I kind of think this isn't a knight at all. A real Hell Knight would be skinned alive for losing his infamous black armor. What we see here is a stranger without rank or insignia who wants us to march god knows where. Kind of smells like a trap to me. Where's your squad now? Not far from here, beyond the river. Hmm, it's not far for a single fighter who abandoned his armor and weapons, but we can't get across the river so easily. We'll have to take a detour. Even if we can save anyone, it will seriously delay our offensive on Dresden, and it will give it the enemy a chance to prepare. We'll take the risk and try and help them. Thank you, Commander. Our forces are here, the knight points at the location on your map. The situation is critical. Please send your reinforcements as soon as possible. I will go there and meet you. Okay, bye. Yes, can I help you, Lan? Lan approaches you, casually polishing a ripe apple on his sleeve and smiling. I knew I'd find you here. It's been hard trying to catch you alone recently. Everyone seems to want something from you. You being the commander of the crusade probably has something to do with it. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Alan's expression grows serious. I've seen you fight plenty of times now, the way you charge into battle like everything's depending on you. I don't know if you're trying to be a hero or if it's just your own honor at work, but when I think about you getting hurt, it's like my insides just turn to ice because we're friends and I worry about you. I know, I know you're the commander and you gotta lead the charge, but let me protect you. It's the least I can do. Lan looks into your eyes because, I mean, we're comrades, right? And I don't want a comrade to be devoured by demons. Thank you, Lan. I also appreciate help from a friend. Don't mention it. I'll try to stick out like a sore thumb and stay out of your way. I'll just watch over you, silently observing from the shadows. Wait, no, that came out wrong. Forget what I said. Lan rubs the back of his neck. What I want to say is you can count on me. Lan, you're trying so hard to be the romance option for this, but but no, I don't. I don't want that. Let's quickly rest, and then we'll head out. This is not the end. Canabras did not fall. It... We'll I head already... out to the... Beth, and then hire some recruits, and then we'll be off to do the Hell, not Hell, the Houndheart website, or not website, the Houndheart campsite. That's what I'm going for. It's been a while. It's been a day. Commander, allow me to say something. Irabeth looks even more serious than usual. Before you, this wasn't a war. It was agony drawn out over the decades. No one believed in victory anymore. When the demons attacked the city, for some it was a relief. At least the end had come. They laid down their weapons and surrendered without a fight. I felt the same thing, but somehow I got on through stubbornness and the vague hope that if nobody had found Inevia's body, she might by some miracle have survived. And that miracle was you. You returned my beloved to me when I lost all hope of seeing her alive again. Then you went on a suicide mission to the Grey Garrison and won the city back for us. You turned defeat into a victory. I know it wasn't easy, but you make everything so effortless. You do everything just like that, she says, with a snap of her fingers. The Queen believes in your powers, too, but for me... They're just more proof of what I felt that day when I saw Anevia alive standing next to you. You're the miracle we've been waiting for. You're the one who will finally put an end to this terrible war, and in spite of everything, deliver us the victory we so desperately need. With you, I'm sure this crusade will achieve what the others could not. I found a scabbard with your family name on it in the Great Garrison. Irabeth looks down. The scabbard held the solemn hour, my family sword. My father once fought with it, and I took it when I left home to become a paladin. Alas, it was not stolen. I parted with my heirloom willingly to help somebody dear to me. Nevia needed expensive healing, and having no other way to procure the money, I pawned my father's sword. I think he would have understood. I am sure he would have given up everything to help the family. I hoped to redeem the solemn hour eventually, but there was never enough money, and soon the sword disappeared from the pawn shop altogether. I have no idea who took it. it seems like I'll depart with my father's sword forever. I can see that you truly love her. A delicate blush appears on Irabeth's cheeks. She nods silently. Irabeth lovingly traces the name imprinted in silver on the scabbard's leather. My parents were loyal servants, yet it wasn't enough to earn them a title or coat of arms. Still, however humble our name might be, it is worth something. I don't know if I'll ever see the solemn hour again, but at least I have its scabbard back. 
Thank you. Um, we need reinforcements. Can you get us more soldiers? Irabeth frowns. When we began the march on Dresden, we chose speed over numbers. If I order more volunteers to be recruited, they simply won't arrive in time. We could pay mages to deliver the troops to the camp, except I doubt our army's coffers could afford it. If you can spare the seven and a half thousand gold, I will see to our reinforcements. Do it up. Consider it done. I have to go. Actually, wait. It's hard to believe your origin is so humble. You deserve a noble title more than many who inherit them. Earbeth chews blush a little. Thank you, Commander. It's an honor to hear that, especially from you. Every noble family begins somewhere. You must have heard the recent story from the Stolen Lands and the River Kingdoms. Yes, we did. We played through that whole campaign. Just imagine coming from nowhere and making it all the way to a royal crown in just a few years. Sometimes I wonder what would happen if we managed to dis distinguish myself somehow. But then I push away such an unworthy, selfish thought. We don't fight for rewards. The fate of the world is at stake. And yet, her blush deepens and she falls silent. I have to go. We're not going to call her out for having her wife watching over us, the head of the Eagle Watch and the intelligence agency, but that is what is happening. They're doing it for us, apparently. We already know that, kind of. Um, I guess this is our group. I don't necessarily love our current group for our good campaign, because Soziel's not that good, but he's, he's the only cleric we have that can channel positive. Uh, that isn't Darren, that he's pretty evil, so. Um, yeah. Just kind of wish we had a better choice for our cleric. And Darren is just such a massively better healer. And we're going to be fatigued before we reach the camp, so let's just rest here. Did I break my game? I might have just broken something. Okay. Huh. Apparently you can hit continue, but it won't move your units while they're you know, resting, which makes sense. Houndheart campsite. Let's do this. I should probably have checked Soziel's spells now that I think about it before resting. I'm almost certain I have not set up his spells. Oh, it's mostly set up. Okay, fine. Although he has way too many prayer spells, and I don't want to spell magic. Get rid of this. I can't that go. Really? I can't get rid of dispel magic. Oh, there we go. It just really didn't want me to lose dispel magic. And we have a bunch of restoration less or less restorations, but in all honesty. Okay, if we're gonna bring Soziel along, because we kinda have to, let's get abundant casting. Because he needs extra spells. Then we can actually give him some actual good spells. Some protection from alignments, maybe. We get a protection from evil, which is a class spell for him. Extra blesses. Unbreakable Heart's pretty decent. It's worth having a couple of them kicking around. Um, we need some resist energies straight up. Should have had some for this upcoming battle that we're going to be doing, but that's fine. Oh, we have a res we just do that. Um, what else do we have? We have protection from energy too. Three prayers is a lot of prayers. I don't think we need three. Go away. What else can we have instead? We have spontaneous casting, so we don't need... Cure serious wounds, we can use any spell slot for it. So that doesn't matter. Alright, I guess that'll have to do. It's just so zeal so What's that? bad at his job. Whatever. It's fine. Follow He'll be okay. Me. We're finally here. Alan and Curl must be around here somewhere, and Janet too, if they gave her permission to leave. Oh, here they are. Greetings, Sila, and greetings to you, Knight Commander. Sir Alan puts his hands behind his back and bows slightly, then he casts an inquisitive glance at you. He seems less friendly than he was the day you met at the Defender's Heart. Janna puts her hands on her hips. She looks even more dashing than usual. Alan is feeling a little shy. He thought he asked for help from a couple nobodies like us, but now you've turned into the saviors of Canabras, knights of the Fifth Crusade marked by Ayamade's blessing, and still you came to help him dig through a pile of junk. <laughs> Sila frowns a little. Let's not talk about it, I assure you. I'm the same Sila, your friend from the League of the Cart, and we came here to help you look for Alan's ring. By the way, where's Curl? He didn't come with us, said an old wound was acting up. Alright, my friends, since we're here, let's finish this mission quickly. I really don't feel comfortable bothering the Knight Commander with my personal problems. I'm glad we're here to help you, Alan. I hope everything works out perfectly for your wedding, too. I love weddings so much. They're full of joy and new beginnings, but I haven't been to any yet. Can I come? Of course, Lady Ember. Let's hope my bride doesn't run away from the bungler who managed to lose the ring you bought for her. 
Is there something wrong, Alan? Am I making you nervous? The young knight is obviously embarrassed. I apologize. Jenna is right. Much has changed since we met in Cadaveris. Some things for the better, some not at all. He stopped short, apparently unwilling to elaborate. Alright, off we go. Jenna and I will look on the northern side. We'll see you when we find something or when we give up trying. March on. Can't hide from me. In our other group, we uh, went hunting. But we're not going to do that with our good group. This doesn't seem like something a good group would do, honestly. Let's see if our knowledge world check... Alright, let's try that again. We want to pass our knowledge world check, so let's try it one more time here. It went there we go. The torn flag of the Hound Hearts, a small but noble order of crusaders. Excellent. Where are you going? Okay, fine, whatever. Loot that. Melted Shard of a Ring. That's going to be part of an artifact that we're going to have to forge later, more likely than not. Uh, that sets off this whole event, but that's okay. We can still do the rest of the camp for looting. A small quasit demon emerges from the chest. It looks at you angrily, screwing up its ugly little face. It is holding a shiny object in his paws, a sparkling silver ring with a large blue-green jewel. It's mine! Mine! Alan, look at that creepy thing. What's it holding? I've seen one of these before. These small demons like to tease and bully, but it'll bolt if it senses any real threat. Let's surround it and attack all together before it can figure out what's happening. And they get color sprayed because they are bad at their jobs, apparently. Mine! The closet throws its paws into the air and splashes you with beams of color. You hear insolent giggling. The demon is jumping up and down, throwing the ring into the air and catching it. Mine! Mine! Alain! Janna! Sila glances at her friends, then turns to you. They're all right. They'll come around soon. Quickly, let's catch the little rascal before it runs off with the ring. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. We have other things to do first, like looting. And we're going to save and try this mobility check. It shouldn't it be too hard, which it wasn't. There's a pretty good shield here, the Divine Protector. Uh, if you have anyone that uses shields in your group, it's probably going to be an upgrade for you at this point in the game. We're going to give it to Sila, which gives her 26 armor class. Pretty decent. She's also still using Radiance, which is actually an unenchanted sword at the moment. Um, but then again, our main character is using Finian, so we don't have anything else to give her right now. Um... Oh, we could have sold all these scimitars earlier, too. Oh, well, we'll do that later. My thought is that... Oh, our lockpicking skills are really bad with this group. Is there a lockpicker? Sila? Call me again if you need to. Please tell me you're not our trickery master in the group. Your trickery's only level 8. Does no one have better trickery? Oh, no. Let us be off. Okay, we need someone with better trickery, but we'll work on that. That's awful. Anywho. Oh, we got a hat of heartening song. It's actually a bard hat, but I think her current... Actually, she doesn't have a current hat, so the bard hat is going to be going on her. Bloop, bloop, and this is a... Oh, we don't have a... A kineticist for the kinetic diadem. Diadem? Diadem. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be a situation where we keep Lead on. Let me everyone help. way back. Are we ready to move out? This war must end. Always be ready for the worst. A bright future because awaits us. Because I'm going to turn the off her us. AI and I'll make my his AI energy. because we need the reflex saves from this character to soak up the immense amount of damage. We don't have the resistances that our other group had uh, for this fight because we haven't rested since we took them. The tent is different from the rest. There's a strong burnt smell come around it and a rustling sound coming from within. So let's just open this up and see what happens. We will be victorious. This is fine. We're just gonna let this happen this way. Taking some damage though, so let's move in now. Let's get some healing. Just so we can get some sneak attack damage in. There we go. This is fine. Would have been easier with some resistance spells, but it worked out okay. 
Let's move. This tent has been cut open from the inside. The knights apparently left it in a hurry. Okay, so if you want to find the closet, the first place it sits is down here. And then we're going to go all the way back to the other side of the camp. And then we're going to find it one more time, which is here by the Brimrack tent. And then it goes and sits by the treasure chest again. And we can do buffs before this that point. We're dealing with it, and we, we should, no because this fight is actually no this. joke. And uh, it can go really poorly for you really fast. I will lend you my if you're not careful. She has Blair. I don't know why I bothered to cast on both in the same person. Because I didn't actually expect it to work. I guess that's why. Um, alright. She should use a shield just in case. The world has suffered enough. And prayer will do as soon as battle starts. We should move. What's your armor 32? I stand ready. You're missing something from your armor class. I'm always open to ideas. What is it? You have shield, you have wait. blur, you have mage armor. I guess you could use your mutagen. You power bark. No, that's still 32. All right, well, let's just do that then. I'm going to cast haste made. on my group. And we're going. Give me the ring, you scoundrel. Before Alan manages to get the closet, the halfling curl appears right next to it, quite out of nowhere. He snatches the ring from the demon's paws. You mustn't get it. Curl, what are you... And Curl is doing something. Sila saved Curl's life, but Curl cast a spell. And it's not a great spell for us. Thrusting herself between Alan and Curl, Sila barely manages to absorb, to absorb the blow aimed at the halfling. Alan, stop, have you gone mad? He's using a summoning spell, why did you stop? Some lovely player has just stepped into my trap. No, Alan, Sila, help, damn it, I didn't sign up for this. Janna, coward. Also would have taken an AOO there if the... Get ready, we're on our own now. Do not fear. Do not Be fiend. Uh, land run. And you cast heal. Jesus, our group's getting murked. Uh, we're okay. So Zeal keep healing. Why? Oh, right. The turn. Actually. Come on. Yay. Alright, this should be okay now, I hope. Uh, maybe not. Okay, that one finally died. Why did the deer join in? Oh, that's annoying. I used prayer and the deer are coming. But uh, Sozeal straight up died, so... This group is not as powerful as our other group. In terms of just raw damage output, it's really not. Uh, Alright, is Let there any other help. spells we can cast that will help us out a little bit? Protection from evil, yes. Huh? Oh. Haste ahead yes, of time, what? yes. Yes. Uh, we'll make her bigger, Bye. why not? Future awaits us. This and then you can path. also have the strength hey, meter gym. We will win this war. Okay, let's go now. We're gonna go through this as fast as possible and then just murder the demon. Zuh. Oh, I didn't use the in. No, it's okay. Fine. Blah, 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 blah. Sword. Interception. Blah, 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 blah. Curl runs away like a coward. We'll cast prayer right away, too. And if the deer get hit, that's their own problem. Just so much sneak attack damage here. We won't fall here. Okay. I swear it. Uh, prayer. Song. Turn on AI. Forwards. First one died. We need to get that sneak attack damage going. We won't fall down. 
Glenn, you're gonna have to tank that one for just a sec. Once someone killed that one. You crossed the wrong mongrel. This is going okay so far? Surrender or else. There's still closet alive, which is a little bit annoying. But the Babaos are way more powerful and are the priority targets for sure. Come on, someone hit it. Nope, just leave that one alone. Just, just finish this one off first. There we go. Now kill the closet. And that's the end of the fight. Sweet. Alan, what were you doing? You nearly cut down Curl. Without a second thought, without a trial, without even knowing if he was responsible for all this, he might be a victim himself. What am I doing? He lured us into a trap. Curl was the only one who knew where we were going. He knew we thought there wouldn't be anyone at the camp except some small, harmless demons. So he's in a trap. I wouldn't be surprised if his demon masters had him targeting the commander from the start. Talk about believing in the redemption of scoundrels, Alan scoffs. We barely know anything about what happened. Curl is a good lad. He's not a spy or a murderer. Maybe they threatened him, tricked him, or even bewitched him with demon magic. And now we'll never know because you let him escape. Better to let a thief escape than to cut down an innocent. Alan, think. Sela was defending someone she thought was her friend, and she stopped you from doing something you might regret. I don't need a shepherd to light my path and save me from regrets. Can you say the same, Sela, or you, Commander? You clearly have something to say. Go ahead, then spit it out. Sela, I didn't want to say this, but I think of you as my friend, so I'm going to warn you. After what happened at the Grey Garrison, you're in serious danger. And maybe not just you. You might like to ignore military hierarchy and the rules of knightly orders, but there's wisdom in them that has stood the test of time. A soldier rises from private to an officer, a knight begins as a squire. Even Iomedes' paladins gain their abilities gradually, but not with you and the commander. You were granted incredible powers, far surpassing seasoned paladins with experience and skill far beyond your years. You received this gift at just the right moment and saved a lot of lives across Mendiv. That's a great deed, and that will be remembered for ages to come. What happened next was wrong. They began to worship you. The queen gave you such vast power. All the while, you sidestepped everything. Training, experience, hardship. This is not the first time Her Majesty has behaved rashly. And how much good has this brought Mendev? I'm frightened by what I see, especially by the way that you, Sila, trust people so easily and leap into adventures without looking. One day you'll lower your sword when you should have driven the blade home, just like thousands of bright-eyed youngsters will after you. Elan pauses, as if reluctant to continue, then looks you in the eye. I wanted to tell you the same thing, Commander. You're right to an extent, Elan, but I didn't choose my lot. I'm just trying to fulfill my duty as best I can. The knight lowers his head. I apologize for my harsh words. I said it to Sila, and I'll say it again. This wasn't a reproach, but a warning. The power you've been given, it may be your undoing, and the undoing of all the Crusaders along with you. Don't be afraid of what's new and unknown. We just need to bear in mind our responsibilities. Whatever was given to us, we can use it for good. In any case, forgive me for wasting your time and subjecting you to danger here. Now at least we know that Curl is a traitor and Janna is a coward, ready to abandon her friends when the going gets rough. I hope we'll all learn a lesson from these mistakes. And as for that blasted ring, to hell with it. Kiana won't love me solely for the gifts I bring her. Alan makes no attempt to conceal his disappointment. Nodding goodbye, he lowers his head and walks away. Sila watches as he leaves. Her expressive eyes are filled with sadness. Everything's become very complicated all of a sudden. Please, Elyra, let's go back. And I'd like to talk to you about it later. I have a lot to think about. And that is actually where we're going to leave off this video. In the next video, we will continue on our way. We will probably go and do uh, the Moonlit Meadows, I think it's called, area. And we'll also take a look around for other... Um, areas to jump into and get some extra experience. We'd like to hit level 7 before we try and do um, some of the the later zones like the Hell Knight area and uh, of course the Chapel and Dresden and all those places. We'll need some more experience before them. So like always if you have any suggestions or comments please leave them below. Otherwise I'll see you next time. Take care.